Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul for you and I just have, I'll have two clips because I wanted to get this stuff hauled and out of the way because this is a like um, planner kit and I wanted to make sure I can pack it up for moving which I want to do today. So I'm going to haul it now before everything else gets in here. As usual, there are timestamps linked down below for every shop, and every shop is also linked. So let's get straight into this, into these goodies. So my first order here is Toffee Bananas. And yes, this is my like second order. So let's open it up. I really like her packaging. Packaging is very cute. So one thing about Toffee Bananas is that she is in the UK, which is good for me when I move to Europe. But um, uh, so it does take a little couple of weeks to get to Australia. And then when you order it, she's been made to order and it's taken like a month at a time to uh, have anything even shipped. Uh, I know she is preparing to go to ready to ship and she might be now, but yeah, just a warning that Depending on how her ready to ship goes, her orders can take a while. So uh, if you need anything right away, I don't know about that. But everything is really, really cute. And she has great freebies. These are the, I have three freebie sheets for this order. So let's dig into them. So the three freebie sheets I got were, and these are usually some samplers of new stickers and things. And this is all autumn stuff. So you have this really cute one where she has like a recipe book, an armchair. Um, I don't know what that is. It's like a, a present. It says hey girl. And then you have like window scenes and pretty um, tabletop stuff. Then her signature um, flat lays. Which I know are getting more popular around the place. Um, but I'm pretty sure I saw them first from Toffee Bananas. And these are really cute autumn flat lays. And then a sample of her new autumn items. I did get a couple of these by themselves. Um, so, but I'm really you know, glad to have a few extras of them. Uh, of course, I was preparing for Australian autumn, which is like March. But now I'm going to have to hold back on them. But we'll see what I can fit into my spreads coming up. So this is what I ordered. I ordered the... Um, shopping baskets which uh, I already I got in the last order and I didn't realize so now I have two sheets of these but that's okay because they're cute I have the flat lays that are for painting so you have like a watercolor palette a drawing book and just a whole bunch of drawing things there which I think is really cute and fun for arty times then I got the autumn TNs but I think these could also work for personal rings because a lot of them look like this now but some really cute ones with the roses, the bows, the leaves and the little diamond pen. I got the kitty lattes which I just thought <laughs> they're so cute you know I had to get these you know <laughs> so the kitty lattes for sure. I got the comfy sheet which I think is really cute and especially where I'll be moving it'll be nice to mark comfy times or you know me times or just you know the pillows could and candles could even just be for doing homey stuff and you know decorating the house I have these mason jars and one there's two pens and a um uh brush in there and I thought these could be cute to mark art stuff so I'm going to try out the sheet and if it does work out, I think I will get some more of them. But I think it's a really cute way to mark arty stuff and drawing. I got the TN planning and I mostly got the sheet just for this one row of pen cups. I would hope that she would release the pen cups by themselves because they're my fave. I think those are so cute. Um, but yeah, and overall the TNs and things are cute. Then I just got the normal tea and stuff. Uh, I did go through my collection and I found that I was lacking like planner planner stickers. So um, I just picked up a whole bunch of planner stuff. But this is good for year round. Just really pretty pinks. Then I picked up like the planning flat lay. So you have like a, a tea here. Or you can make it a coffee if it's a pot of coffee. And you've got like your TN and your planners and pens and clips. So I thought that was really cute with a little succulent I got the yummy fall so you got some like coffees 
and pies. So cute. Uh, I want to make some pies. <laughs> and then I got the pumpkins sheet as well. Just, I don't know, I just thought it was a really cute sort of deco sheet that could be used all through autumn. So that was my Tuffy Bananas um, order. I hope she's successfully able to get it ready to ship because that would alleviate a lot of my issues with the shop. It's just, it's a long time to have to wait like two months to get the stickers. Um, although it might be faster when I'm in Europe, but if you're not in Europe, it's like two months at the moment. But here's hoping to her ready to ship. That's Tuffy Bananas. Okay, this is my last Happy Scrappy subscription. Um, I had to cancel for a while because I don't know going forward if I want to have it shipped up to Finland because um, there's always customs and stuff. So this is my last one which is September and it's the sweater weather and it is in the personal wide rings size because you choose the inserts that you want. So let's very quickly go through this. I always love the envelope she sends in with the labels and the foil. Super pretty. So you usually get a whole bunch of papers, stickers, some extra items and a pen. So this is the pen that I got. I think some people are getting black and a few other colors, but this like um, sort of cream with gold is actually super sleek looking. It looks really pretty. Uh, it looks to be a needlepoint gel. That looks really interesting. Let me have a look. It's a fatter tip and it writes really nicely. So. Happy Scrappy also has a separate pen subscription if you want lots of pens, but there's always usually a nice pen that she includes, so I like that. I will probably keep that pen. Then we get a little pack here of extra stuff. So we get some little die cuts, they're nice thick paper and these are like, this is like a sweater, autumn, colour pencil, squishy animals kind of th theme. You get this sticky, is it a sticky one? Yeah, a sticky patch, embroidery patch, a really cute cat pumpkin. And you get these tiny little tabs as well, so you can fold them over each other to make a little tab on the page. And they're just little pumpkin spice lattes, super cute. She always has really cute themes. So if you're into like kawaii stuff, you would like Happy Scrappy. Oh, hey Heidi, what's up? So we have like the little sticker kit here and you can add on a bigger sticker kit as well, but this is just the one that comes with the base kit. It's got a lot of plaids and things and you just got functional and full bucks. So those are really cute um, checklists. And then you have some, these are clear, mostly clear stickers, I think, except for these ones. Yeah. So these are like a more plasticky vinyl ones. So these are tabs, so you can fold over as well. And they are foiled with like a pixie hollow dust. Really cute. You're the same, just with some big bows as well. And then these are in clear sticker paper. We have some date numbers with hedgehogs. And this is hollow foil as well from the looks of it. You get some like headers with that same foil. And you get bows, like little stardust, today's to-dos. And then these are, oh, those, they're really cute, clear um, rose gold. Uh, quotes so, so you can overlay these on other stickers and everything you have sweater weather give thanks always fall in for you and meet at the pumpkin patch those are cool I'll definitely put those aside to put in the normal sticker collection um, and then we have the inserts some more stickers and the papers So these are the personal wide um, inserts. So you usually you get some little dashboardy ones and these are all punched. So these are like the two dashboards that you get with the pumpkins and things. And then this is what the um, insert looks like. You have a week on one page. And then sort of this sort of daily grid thing over here. And you just have the little pumpkin spice latte. 
And then you get a few pages of just these. And then you have some really cute colorful notes pages with hedgehogs and the guinea pigs. Why well, I think they're guinea pigs, I don't know. But those are the inserts, super nice. I like how you get to choose what you want, like size wise. And then these are all date um, cover stickers. Just a few weeks there. Um, and then these are the papers. I think you get, you get two um, uh, special papers and you get two cardboard ones and they are double printed so you get one of each sort of print. So the first one here is these gingham pumpkins, so adorable, or buffalo plaid. Um, and the other side of it is this rose gold foiled um, one here, with those designs, really pretty. Then this one has the little hedgehog and guinea pig, uh, it might be hamster but no hamsters in Australia, so I see them as guinea pigs. Um, that's a really cute one. And then the other side of that is this, like, um, sort of pixie hollow glitter one with the hedgehogs. Really cute. So those are the papers. So then they're, like, in your planner like that. And then she had pink foiling for the vellums. So you have this one here with the hedgehogs. And you have this design as well. Really, really, really cute. This will be a perfect setup in autumn next year. Um, so yeah, that is the Happy Scrappy subscription. I'm, I'm sad not to have any more of them, but I probably have enough for now. Um, yeah, but I highly recommend it if you're really up uh, after a monthly cute subscription with plenty of great things. That's Happy Scrappy. The next order I have here is a quick farm one from Fox and Cactus. Um, I love Emma and Tom, they are the best. And I actually got a Christmas card from them. Now, if you are like um, someone who shops with them regularly, you will probably get a Christmas card as well. I know I got one last year because I ordered all the time. But this year's card says Happy Holidays and it's a little more like annoying talks. So cute. I love that, the grumpy cat. And she just is a really, just a really nice message. Um, thank you for being part of the family, basically. And I got this awesome little die cut with this little Christmas koala. And it's like a vinyl sticker die cut. Awesome. So it's a really sweet Christmas card. And I'll just show you my quick little order. And it was so great and made sure that this got out uh, in time that it would get to me before um, I left the country because the shipping's a bit more expensive to Finland and I was really just hoping to hat stuck up on these cat, cat couples, which are my favorite couple stickers. Um, and obviously Ozpost came extra through, it came super fast. So, but still extra thank you to Emma for um, so processing these faster for me, which is really, really nice. But I got the November freebie. I love the be kind. So cute. And then just a little card note from Emma and Tom. And just a cute little, hey Heidi, just a cute little winter fox um, journaling card there. Adorable. So I picked up a whole bunch of the couple cats because uh, things have just happened in my life that I want to be better representative of my relationship. And a lot of my relationship stickers were just didn't meet the requirements I needed. But these cats are perfect. I just love how they're just two little kitties and they're just perfect for me. So had to pick up some more because I only had one page of the like main couple and I didn't have any of the eating so I ordered a couple of sheets and I'm actually threw in a third sheet of each for these for me so thank you so much I uh, you know I just I was telling you how much it means to me to have these cat couples they're my favorite stickers from Fox and Cactus so I got the sheet with um, just like the normal cuddling couple on the couch having dinner and playing video games and I know during the Black Friday sale, she was selling ones with just single sheets. 
the single sheets of those little holding couples and the gaming ones. And I definitely picked some up, uh, but I got them shipped to my finish address. So three of those. And then I got the eating ones, which I hadn't picked up before. And look how cute they are. So you have like, um, I think there's dim sum, sushi, burgers. They're just totally adorable. And it's food, we, we eat all that food. So it'd be perfect. I just love the one where they're like super, <laughs> they're looking at the sushi and they're so hungry. <laughs> so love that one. I got three of those. And then I think, I think this is the second um, cat couple sheet. There's one in part, part one on part two. Uh, but I love this one. You got like snuggling in bed, going shopping and going to the movies together. And I love the bed one, like the blankets. We actually have, um, we use two single size blankets rather than one big size blanket in our bed. So we have our own blankets, which has been a godsend since the start of our relationship we finally don't have to fight over blankets so that's my tip to you if you're sick of your partner stealing the blankets um just get just have two of them uh but that was my little order from fox and cactus i just i love the cat gobbles they are perfect my next order here is from colourpop paper and i haven't ordered from them since they reopened so i'm really excited to try these out So I picked up and they're doing a whole bunch of like glitter and foil and all sorts of items now and they are like hand pressed foil so they're really nice and um, high quality. But I picked up these clear um, pockets, just like the smaller size one I think and they're just really cool. They have the foiled bows and I picked up a pack of three just to have all the colors but I just thought they were so cute and I love the bow shape. So you can just stick these pockets on anything that you want. And yeah, I thought that'd be really cool. Um, so I picked up those pockets from her. Uh, so this is my freebie, which is for with rose gold. Really cool, I love the midweek spread. <laughs> so you get to try out some of her stickers there. It's a really nice, like it's a premium matte, but it's not buttery, it's papery. So I'll show you the stickers first. I got two sheets of date covers and they come with these black numbers. Um, but yeah, so I got the rainbow bright in gold foil and in silver. I just found myself, um, when I try something out, I feel like the best one to get is the rainbow. Cause you know, oftentimes you'll, you will use a hot pink or a really nice blue purple, a teal. Hello. So I just got that to try out those. I don't use as much rose gold, so I didn't pick one up. Um, but I might get some more day covers in the future. We will see. I just wanted to try them out and that's, you know, her, her famous thing of the date covers. And finally, I picked up what is called a glitter pop collection. And these are those vinyl glitter cut into headers. So they're super duper thin, but they still have the texture and look of glitter. And they are super sparkly, uh, but won't add as much bulk to your planner as normal glitter tape will. And I really liked, like I tried out blanket planners, which were okay, but I wasn't really a big fan of her color selection, to be honest. And I thought that, um, Colourpop had a nicer selection. So the gold that she has is not as yellow, like not as brassy yellow to me, which I really like. And as you see, it's cut down just two strips on either side. And it's just cool, it's like a, doesn't have backing or anything, which is fine with me. Less bulk, but I just got this nicer looking gold. Got the very elegant black. I think it's black. Super duper pretty and elegant. I got this dark purple with, it looks like it has a little bit of black in it as well. You can see how thin these are, you can see through them, but um, yeah, I know I thought the purple looked really interesting and pretty. I also got the lighter purple. There wasn't really a light purple like this. Um, this is Wisteria. 
So I should say the colors like this on Blanket Planet, which is why I went to um, try out ColourPop. This was Haunted, so it was like a Halloween one. And this was Charcoal, and the gold was gold. I also got Silver. The silver glitter ones always look the best, I think. They're just so shiny. And then I picked up Caribbean. I don't know why, I just, I was drawn to this blue. <laughs> um, it did take me a while to get this. As you know, this is a Halloween color, The Haunted. Um, but I do believe she's been having some medical issues, been in the ER, so I definitely don't hold that against her. And, Happy to wait, uh, but I got plenty here to play with and some day cover sets, color pop paper. Next, I have a couple orders from Caress Press. You know me by now, I, I've always loved Caress Press. I'm so happy to be buying more from Caress Press. So one of my orders, I did get that limited edition, $35 plus freebie post-it note with the castle. Really nice, a pretty awesome freebie. Um, I got a couple of kits here. I got a mini kit and a full kit. I have one bit of multicolor and I have a monthly. So I'll show you the multicolor to get it out of the way. So I just picked up one sheet of her flight infos in her winter colorway. Just doing more flying recently and I do a lot more flying next year planned. And I got in the premium mat because I've been getting the kits in the mat. So I would prefer to have like matching sticker types for my um, kits. So yeah, I just got picked these up and I really like this colorway. But I'm looking forward to more um, multi-color versions from her as well, just to stock up for my collection. But I picked up that one. I'll quickly show you the monthly. I don't plan to film them. I mean, I know, let me know in the comments if you really want me to film my monthlies but I don't think I will. I just prefer to do it by myself, you know? And I don't think they're that interesting. I do really use them for straight up pre-planning. I don't do that memory keeping stuff. It's so I can look each week while I'm planning for my actual weeks and be like, okay, that was payday, that's a builder, you know? So that's why I went with Cress Press for next year. Scribble Prince Co has always been my ride or die, but, um, well, obviously, like, the reformat works for her shop, and I think a lot of people really like the reformat, but, but for me, it doesn't have the functionality. It didn't have any payday flags, which is my most important thing, because I never know when my real work paydays are, um, because they're fortnightly, and I get, I, I get confused. So, yeah, I just decided I'm going to try out Crest Press for the year, because I like my monthly kits to all match. Um, yeah, and I really like how she has two designs to choose from, and she brought in the deco sidebar, which I'm really happy about. But I'll show you the freebie from this order. I think that's my freebie from my other order. Similar, different, different colors and stickers, but a really cute little functional freebie. Uh, and I got the January kit, and I got the winter version because this year... <laughs> This year, I will be in the right to Northern Hemisphere season, so actually will be winter in January for me. Uh, but I've added on the beautiful deco um, sidebar. It is gorgeous. She added the calendar down here, which is in the new Erin Condren. Uh, I think I'll still be doing my... I've been cutting off my deco sidebar just a bit to add like one um, checklist in here. And with the Scribble Prince Co. ones, that means I've just been cutting the sidebar that she included in the kits. And now you choose either Deco or the sidebar um, checklist. And I, so I would have to buy both extras to do what I want to do. But this kit still has that. So that's the Deco sidebar. And we'll come back to the checklist. So we have the but, uh, top bar and then this bar um, blocks out the days that aren't in the month and so you have this beautiful Christmassy castle scene you have date dot covers um, cute little items so you have some bows some presents a balloon and a suitcase you have the headers you have three PDs here and a little flag 
And then the next page you have two more paydays. So five paydays in all, which is great. It, what, it means I won't be able to do both my work paydays and my Etsy paydays uh, as I have been in the past, but I still get my work paydays in, which is the important one. And then this is the other side bar with the other um, Thursday to Saturday, just a really simple pattern there. Then you have some vacation strips in pattern and glitter. And these are decorative full boxes, but I like how you could write on these two, especially um, if you wanted to. Then you have a ton of icons, which are all double uh, and all sorts of colors. You have these really cute flags and I love the touch of glitter. And here are the checklists, which is actually even more useful than the SPC ones for me because hers are just the straight one sticker, which is really useful if you're going for a full checklist. But I've just been adding literally one section of the checklist to my deco one, so like this. Um, and it would go over the top of that. Um, so this is really useful that they cut out and that um, I don't have to stack them. I can just use the one to get the single checklist that I need. So I'm really, really happy with that. And you can just put the um, headers over the top of this part here, or you can write in whatever you want. Uh, so I really like that. And then you have some uh, four appointment labels here, a little strip of washi and the holidays. And then here you have more appointment labels, as well as two half boxes and build juice with a little tick, which is really nice, like a little heart to put your tick there. Although you could cover up the Jew and still have a like certain other thing there. Um, and then you have this deco here, which sadly, uh, I think they cut the wrong file for my page because this isn't the deco that it's cut for. I'll show you here it's cut for a different deco, which is probably the other January monthly, but that is no biggie to me. I don't really care. Um, I don't use the deco too much in my spreads. I don't, I haven't figured out a way that I like to use it. So I probably won't use it anyway. Um, but otherwise it's perfect. And I can't wait to play in my new Erin Condren for the year with my new monthly kit. But that's the one I'm going to be sticking with for the rest of the year. I show the mini kit that I got. This one is starry eyed and I just couldn't go past this art. It's just too pretty. So all of our kits come with the date dot set match. Um, I also picked up the glitter headers, in the premium mat, and this is the freebie for this order. So slightly different version of the other one with some different stickers. So here we have Starry Eyed and I really love this functional sheet. I just love all these little stickers. I could do with them being like, like literally the tiniest bit bigger, but I think they're perfect the way they are. A little bit of deco down here, just really nice functional. And I love the way her premium matte prints off black and these colors, they just, they feel so creamy and full and just good. <laughs> So these are the full boxes and I just really like, I know like, I'm not huge into fashion kits, but I feel like this is the kind of fashion kit I can get into. I just really like the way it looks. I think it'd be great for like winter or even um, autumn. Yeah, I just, I think it looks really pretty and elegant and just good for any week. <laughs> I love these starry boots as well. That's really what sold me. Then you have in the mini kit, your weekly headers, some little things and half boxes. And then you have a really good functional sheet here with all your sidebar stuff, work labels, all sorts of labels and washi strips, build juice and things. And then you have the bottom washi and you can choose EC size or B6 size. And I've learned my lesson and I'm just gonna get the normal size because I got one kit with the B6 washi and now I regret it because <laughs> I want to, I was like, oh wait, maybe I would want to use this in my EC. So I feel like it's just easy just to stick with the EC one. I love this extra full box. It's just beautiful. And the different skin tone. These, and oh, just the florals are just beautiful in this kit. I just love it. So you get everything you really need in her mini kits. So that was starry eyed. And I like having the full boxes on top because I like to see them. 
And then the ultimate or full kit that I got was Hollow New Year's, which is from my New Year card. You know your girl had to pick this one up. <laughs> um, so we get the matching date dots. I picked up the Fashion Girls. Um, you can get them in a few different skin colors and tones. And I just got the one with black hair, I think, or brown, you know, the dark hair with pale skin. Um, just so you have a selection of the girls there, which I think are really cute. I can't really say cute because I drew them, but I was really, really proud of these ones. So I'm, I'm happy to keep, have extra fashion girls for this. Um, and then I got the hollow version of the glitter headers, which just has all the colors mixed in there. And so this is the, you get a lot more stuff in the full kit, but you get this same page here. Uh, I just, it's so bright and fun. Actually these colors, and I know I chose them, but the way she's done the colors and selected them, um, it makes me think of mermaids. <laughs> um, but I was kind of thinking of like a Sydney New Year's for this, you know, with overlooking the water with the fireworks. So um, here's the full boxes. I really like how she did these white marble hollow rainbow boxes with kind of flat lays. I just think it breaks it up really well. And yeah, I just really, really like it. I like the way she put it together. So I'll probably use this for New Year's um, in my new Erin Condren. Um, yeah, because if you got two 12 month Erin Condrens for the last two years, um, you get two, technically two New Year's weeks because they included that one also in the new Erin Condren. So um, I have two New Year's kits and I'll be using them across the two planners, but I think I'm only going to film one of them. And it's going to be in my new planner because I'm going to be really sick. I'm kind of sick of my chunky baby right now. It's just super chunky. And then here we have the extra um, full box. I love it. The crushed it. Um, I know. I just I saw those balloons, crushed it balloons. And I thought they were perfect for the new year. I'm like, yes, I crushed it. Sometimes you just want to be positive for the new year, you know. And then I really like the marble again for the bottom washi with the disco balls. Yeah, I'm just really, really happy with this and I can't wait to use this. It's still like so surreal to be using my art for these things and even more in cross press paper because ugh, I, just, I love it. <laughs> it's so cool. So that is Hollow New Year's and everything I got from Caress Press lately. So I got some Simply Gilded in and I'm going to be very quick with this because I've got the September box and the October box. They've been sitting at my... My US address for a little bit, as if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I do use a, an American forwarding address and I usually hold everything for a month, like as much as I, as long as I can before I ship it to me, just to save on all that shipping. Um, so yeah, I have two of the monthly boxes, which I'll just very quickly show you because they've been hauled to death by now. So you have the September box, which is rock stars, and you have October, which is fantasy floral. I don't keep the boxes, so they're out of here. So for September, the special little extra, which she doesn't always do. I think it's just a couple of recent times she's done it, which is really cool. Um, you got a pen jams, and mine does not want to open. <laughs> How do I open you? There we go. Found it. Just a really, uh, an extra special, simply good at pen gems. I'm going to show you here. Just really, really pretty. Perfectly simply gilded in my opinion. So I love that. I love pen gems. You got some stickers in the sort of galaxy theme and the gems. Um, you got this journaling card that says Dare to be Dazzling. Love that. Really, really pretty. I love the little stars. Oh, these gem seals are so pretty. I love those. Everyone uh, in this community seems to be obsessed with gems and stars, which is funny. But you guys are, and I get it. So I love this pouch. Sorry, it's been like squished in the mail. I think it's just because it has this bend in it. 
um, but you can shake it up and it's just filled with stars and moons and just super pretty hollow. I'll get them out eventually, but I really like this pouch. It's super cute. Um, and then the washi you get is a Galaxy set. Um, and this is the Galaxy 4.0 now. I never got, I only ever got number one and I've sold most of it. <laughs> Cause uh, you know, I didn't really need most of it to be honest. Um, but I really like the colors of this one. So I'm happy to have it. I never was able to snag any other Galaxy. So I'm super happy she made a box based off of it. And I kind of like the color schemes that I liked the best from the old versions. And you also get this cute little word one that says like reach for the stars, rock on, star power. This makes me think of out of this world Barbie, rock star Barbie again as well. <laughs> I just think about that Barbie all the time. <laughs> she just, you know, it's the... Barbie and the Rockers, where they go into space to do the first concert in space for world peace, and Barbie creates world peace from doing 80s rock music in space, um, which is basically life goals, you know, guys? That's that's what I wish I could be, Barbie. But, um, so I'm really happy to have those. I love them all. You also get a little journaling car. Um, we were showing the journaling card. You get the uh, notebook. It's pocket sized, really fun, sticky notes. And one of my favorite item, probably from the whole thing, is this little gem glittery magnet. I love that. I can't wait to use that in my new place. And then the October one is this beautiful dark floral, just super pretty. So you get some bow seals, which mine got a bit crumpled in the mail. <laughs> Um, but some bow seals, you get some uh, bow clips out of velvet, which are really, really pretty. This beautiful glittery pen, which does have a gel insert, super pretty. You get these hot um, sticky notes. I love this color. It's just so vibrant. Uh, you get another pocket notebook. Love that floral. I got two journaling cards, and you're about to see something. <laughs> um, yeah, I got two journaling cards, Live Boldly. I also got the sticker set. Really, really beautiful. I love that black background. Just, uh, I love black. And then you get this pouch, which is really pretty, and it has the stripes inside. And then I got the washi. So you're probably, you've seen the, the holes. There is no bracelet, and I don't know if that is from Simply Gilded Den, or if it's my US's end, like did they lose it or was it stolen or, I don't know, but I've, I've emailed Irene's team, so we'll see what happens, but yeah, I didn't end up getting the bracelet, which I'm a bit sad about because it was the like main item I was really looking forward to. It was really my jam, and hearing that it was actually kind of big, like was making me really excited because I mean my wrists aren't terrible but uh overall compared to other women's wrists they are fat and um uh, I have big wrists um uh, although I think they look relatively small on me uh but I'm a bigger person I guess in, in, in proportion so I need a bigger bracelet and I was really excited to have a cute simple one like that but We'll see. I understand if they won't send me another one because you know, you don't know the circumstances. I don't know if they forgot it or if it's stolen, so or just lost along the way. But I do love this washi. I actually really love floral bow washi. I just love it. So this is a beautiful set to me. I'm so happy to have that as well. Just love being subscribed and just having definitely getting some washi each month. But I did do a small order in the last, last release. This is a really cute bag with the blossoms. Um, I got a little bow seal. And this is a journaling card I got. Sending warm hugs. So cute. I love that. <laughs> and then I just picked up a couple of the bows for them, the Christmas release. So I picked up the candy cane with hot gold. I love that. 
I picked up the 5mm Christmas one, seeing it white with gold, which, I don't know, was the other white with champagne? Because this is hot gold, so maybe they're different whites kind of thing. You get some red with hot gold, and you, this is actually a dark green with hot gold. So perfect for Christmas. And then I picked up the purple floral because <laughs> slay. <laughs> I just love the purple. I just love the purple and I love the floral. So I had to pick that one up. So that was just my little order from Simply Gilded for that release. I've been a very good girl and holding myself back. But that is everything from Simply Gilded, who is the best. And now we've come to the end of the haul and you know what's coming. It's a big lot of SPC. So let's get through my lovely Scribble Prince Chris stuff and I'll leave the mystery kit for last. So I'm sorry I just flashed it to you, but you've probably seen it already. So this is my Wiggle Up Wednesday order. I've only been able to catch one Wiggle Up Wednesday because I stayed up to buy them. Um, we get a cute little Cinderella card and I got this little freebie munchkin, which is random, but super cute. Yeah, and I was able to pick up the hollow pixie wiggle away, so you can kind of see that rainbow really coming through and you could buy them separately or you can buy them in sets um, and then you get an extra sheet for the set. So I just picked up two sets. Um, so obviously there'll be some left for everyone else. Um, I just like the idea of having two sets because I didn't have a lot of hollow in my collection and I want to use some for like New Year's um, for that hollow New Year's set and this would be what I bought it for. I thought it would just be easy just to pick up two so I have everything I really need. Um, and it's just really pretty. I haven't been able to catch any others. They sell out too fast and I can't be bothered staying up so... <laughs> Especially on a Wednesday night. <laughs> uh, but so the extra sheet you get, you get some little scripts and this full box that says stay focused and extra sparkly. And then you get these little cutout icons. Then you get the round icons and date dots. And I didn't realize there were date dots on here, so I'm happy about that. But I feel like these are the best to really see the pat. Oh, look at that rainbow, like right there. <sighs> Gorgeous. Look at that worldly phenomena. <laughs> um, but yes, I love that. That's really the best place to see it. We got this really, really thin confetti, which I got to admit it's not my favorite. I like chunky confetti on my headers. That's just my preference, but I will use these up. As well as these tiny little confetti full box overlays. I just, <laughs> I don't know if they're like worth putting on because I don't know. I prefer the chunk. I want to see my foil. I want it to blind me, but I'm going to use them. I think they are really pretty, especially if you have busier boxes that you don't really want to cover up. And that does give you that little shine. So I understand the, um, the purpose there. And then you also get this sampler with some bigger icons, corners, bows, and more scripts. So those are my uh, little wiggle Wednesdays for the hollow, pixie hollow. I think she'd call it pixie hollow, but you know, this sort of glitter hollow compared to normal. Yeah, I really love it. I, uh, but she is upping the amount that she's getting for future releases. So hopefully I can get some more in the future. So in this order, I just picked up a mini kit of this really um, pretty winter a set because I'm about to be living in eternal winter in Finland. <laughs> so I got a journaling card, a bow seal freebie. Um, I picked up these Christmas Celeste from the Scribblers. So I picked up the pastel one and you have like hanging lights, hanging, um, holding bauble ornaments, holding coffee in a cute little elf costume. Um, plate of cookies, you have gift wrapping, just a pretty dress, Santa hat, pajamas, and holding a present. So lots of perfect little ones there in pink and blue. And then you also have the same in the traditional colors, green and red. So definitely useful for any Christmas set. Uh, and then I've got some foil, and when I buy foil, I just select th the three foil option. So I have options and it's easy. <laughs> So I got all three colors of the birthday count, 
is it birthday countdown or birthday sheet? So you do have a countdown in here, which is from seven days till two days. You could, or you could use tomorrow's my birthday, you have happy birthday, make a wish, it's my birthday bitch. <laughs> Eat all the cake, happy birthday. So you can use it for your own birthday, but also for other people's birthdays. And these are hand lettered by J. Crew Plans. So you know your girls gotta get them because I love my Jessica. So yeah, I've got those birthday scripts and they'll be perfect. I got the extras for the kits I picked up. So she um, did a collaboration with Golden Plans Co. And they did. she did this beautiful extra artwork for the um, to go with the set. So you know I had to pick it up because it's beautiful. And I love fashion girls. <laughs> so I love that little extra there as well as the batch and glitter headers. And this is the mini kit. Uh, so this one is called Winter Wonderland and it came with this little freebie here. And just, I love these full boxes. Um, I've been talking to the artist who drew this pleasing paper and she's really cool. So um, good to support her as well. But I thought it was just a really pretty kit. I don't know if it was custom. I think it was custom because it was a collaboration. So just a really fun cabiny winter set. And I like these browns that go with it. They're like super chocolatey. And this is just the mini kit format. I love the addition of the, um, these, <laughs> the fancy labels. But I'm a bit sad that they're, they're packages instead of TVs because I would have preferred a row of TV little things. To be honest, because I like to mark my one TV show. <laughs> and um, then you have the bottom washi sheet with date covers and this is a full box. And it's perfect for like layering or putting an overlay, whatever you want. So that was a Winter Wonderland mini kit. And then the other kit I got was, was with my New Year's art again. Uh, I know I probably don't need two kits with it, but she did have an extra add-on to make a birthday kit. So I thought I would do that um, and then use it again in the future. Because I am vain like that. Uh, so I got this really Christmassy journaling card. Love how it's just plain red and it's just really sleek. Uh, and then I got the bow um, freebie there. And also included, oh yeah, this is the order um, that actually got like lost in the mail and she had to reprint and send out these 120 orders. But it happened super fast. I didn't even notice it to be honest. And, Feels really crappy that they get a loss and she has to like basically pay for all this stuff, but um, I'm happy to get it in the end. I love everything. So this is the 75 plus freebie, which I did earn, I believe, because I bought, yeah, I bought a few things. So that's that freebie. I got the three foil colors of the little food scripts. Your pizza night, taco Tuesday, happy hour, coffee time, meal prep, order takeout. Grocery runs and barbecue, really fun. So I got those in the three. I also picked up the uh, nail bow stickers that came out and you get, a, you get rows of the SBC bows and rows of the um, What's More With Love bows. And you, you just peel these off and stick them on your nails and you can do a top coat over the top. They last a bit longer, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. In the future when I'm doing my nails again, please, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just letting them breathe for a bit before I start painting them again. Plus, I threw out all my nail polish. Oops, but you know, I'm moving, so <laughs> I'm throwing all my stuff out. I, if you didn't know, I just did a little dance when I said that, because I'm weird. All right, now I got a ton of foil and sold it. So I also picked up a silver one of these Disney stickers. Um, I mostly just used it for like, we're going to Disneyland, watch fireworks, watch parade by souvenirs because I'm hoping to go to Disneyland Paris next year, hopefully for my birthday, which would be around Halloween. I don't know if, if um, Paris does the not so scary Halloween party, but, um, and I know these are more, these are more aimed for the American Disneylands. 
Um, but I still wanted the silver sheet to go with the Disney kit that I have for when I do that. And I'm really excited. I've never been to the Paris one, only Tokyo. So I can't wait. Uh, I love Disneyland. I also picked up those, more of those confetti um, overlay, head overlays that are like the ones in the Wiggle Wednesday. Um, yeah, I just, I decided to pick those up because I can never have enough head overlays. She also came out with these bottom washi ones where you could buy matching um, color bottom washi that you can pair with this so it makes it own makeshift like um, foil washi. And I didn't realize that she was only selling them for the weekend. So I had the one for hauling this set in my cart, but I didn't buy it for a little while later because I was trying to save money. So I didn't, I don't actually have the bottom washi extra to layer with this anymore, but um, I figured I will have, I'll buy them in the future. <laughs> so I have them anyway. Um, so I have the star ones in all three and the bow ones in all three. So it's like having your own um, bow washi uh, just at the drove hat to use. That's nice. And then I bought the extras for this ultimate kit. I got the glitter headers in the matching colors. Oh, and then I bought a different kits, um, silver ones, silver headers, because you can never have enough of these kind of headers just uh, in the collection. And then I picked up the extra full boxes that would make this into a birthday kit. So she just took my old um, cake art and, made, and edited it to make it match and some balloons. She took the 2019 off the cupcakes so and now it's like just a normal cupcake and that's what I was uh, thinking people could do. Uh, they could just take the year part off. So that's what I put on there but I made it so you could easily erase it. Um, and then she had these uh, fashion girls which are actually exclusive to SPC that I drew for her for her New Year's kit. So you kind of get double use out of that. Um, but I think these are really fun little extras and it'd be a fun, um, well you can make it like a Vegas kit or because I drew the scene and thinking of like Sydney's or going out partying or whatever you like to do. Birthday party. So I had to get those just to make it a bit more, um, I don't know, just because I like having extras. So you get the little freebie there, munchkin freebie. Uh, and then you, here are the full boxes. I really like these ones too. Like the Crest Press one had brought in more of the white, but I like how this is like all the colors. So it's like really bright and vibrant. And you still get the 29, like a um, couple of, only two boxes here really that are full on New Year's. So you can use this whenever. Then uh, you have this sheet. I love these boxes. I can't wait to use those. I love the, the way she did the deco, just all the glue, the glow sticks. Oh, and this like hollow glitter weekend banner. It's cute. Then she put in this extra fashion girl here. She's definitely one of my favorites. I don't know, I just, I feel like I really nailed her face. <laughs> and it's just one of my favorite faces I've ever drawn. I love it. She's so cute. Wow. And then you have more of this functional stuff. And she chose really pretty colors as well. Um, they're a bit more, uh, this is a bit more minty, I think. And then you just have, oh, and she put the hollow glitter around everything. Like everything is a hollow glitter, which looks amazing. So extra. I love it. <laughs> you get so much in a kits and it's perfect. And then you have the bone washi, which is probably my favorite pattern too. So I love that. Um, but here you can see you could cut this in half. And then she was selling a strip that was the pink from the kit, the hot pink. And then you could layer these uh, bows, a strip of the bows over the top. Um, although you could still probably do it with this. Anyway, uh, but I missed out on that strip because I didn't realize it was the weekend only. So buy on the weekend, guys, if you want to do that. But I love the way this looks and I love how it's got the pink writing and the day covers. And this is perfect for a quote overlay. And now I'm just really torn about what to use for actual New Year's because I love both of them. 
because I love myself and my art not. I was pleasantly surprised about how well this came out to actually what was in my head, you know. That doesn't always happen, but that is the Girls' Eve kit from SPC. And now we're up to the last item, which is the uh, November Mystery Kit. Yes, the November Mystery Kit. Sorry, I showed off the secret code just now, but it has passed because I don't get it in time when I save it at my box. So no matter, I don't think she's doing any more of that overstock anyway. So I'm gonna look, see this is the ultimate kit. So the extras you get are the journaling card, um, post-it notes, you get these foil little words, so just like the scripts, paydays and happy mails and things, really useful. This is a temporary tattoo, which I'm definitely going to play with, excited for that. Um, get some bows that match the kit and the fashion girls that go with the kit, which are really cute. This is obviously TWG Designs, um, which I love, so <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. I think it's a really pretty planner kit that's just really springy, actually. I think this would be perfect for spring. Yeah, so this old munchkin freebie. And then here are the full boxes. I love those, and just really, really fun. Those box of roses, which I think Andrea has been given from uh, by Nick, and which is really sweet. I don't know what they are, but <laughs> that's a box of roses. Um, must be a thing in the States, but it's really pretty. Yeah, I love everything. It's gorgeous. It's a really pretty, really, really pretty kit. And I love the pinks in it. It's like a super, like, planner girl thing with the pink and the marble. So good. Probably already seen this already, guys. I know I have, and I watch the reveals as well, because I can't, uh, stay surprised, because it gets ruined anyway, so I might as well have my own agency there and <laughs> ruin it for myself. So this is an older format, so this is still cut up washi in the box here, but really pretty pattern, and this is like an older font style as well. Um, but yeah, really, really pretty. Love that. Uh, and love SPC, of course. So that is the whole all finished. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.